The Islamic eras are a period full of mysteries, oddities and events. This vast history that began since the message was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, to the period of the rightly guided caliphs, then the period of the Umayyad state, then the Abbasid state, then the control of the Mamluk state over the Islamic world, and then the control of the Ottoman Empire over the Islamic Caliphate until its end in 1915 AD. Throughout this busy history, a lot of science and also inventions spread in all fields, and these periods also witnessed a lot of wars and conflicts. All this is in addition to the emergence of hidden sciences that were not limited to witches and sorcerers, but also reached the kings of Islamic countries. At the beginning of the 13th century AD and also the 14th century AD, the Ottoman Empire appeared, this state that began in Anatolia and was able to conquer Constantine, the capital of the Byzantine state during the reign of Sultan Mehmed the Conqueror, and began in that period to expand at the expense of neighboring countries, so it began to penetrate into the European continent. But after a short period the goals and kings of the Ottomans changed and they went with all their military might to the Middle East and were able in a very short period to defeat the Safavid state and then the Mamluk state, and it became the undisputed master of the Islamic world. The fact that the Ottoman Empire surpasses all the countries of the Middle East with the end of the state is a bit suspicious, and historians' theories began to increase about the reasons for these quick victories. But one of the strangest ideas that spread at that time is the idea of the Ottoman kings owning shirts containing talismans and supplications. These talismans are said to protect the kings of these countries from being killed in wars and lead to the victory of the kings of these countries in the wars against Adim. And it is said that Suleiman the Magnificent was already wearing one of these shirts, and this is what some kings of these countries have taken as a pretext and proof that the kings of the Ottoman Empire were actually wearing these shirts. There are those who criticize the idea that the kings of the Ottoman Empire may actually wear such shirts, but the idea of wearing these shirts was not limited to the Ottoman Empire, but also appeared in other places, which is the Safavid state, and who does not know the Safavid state is a state that was located next to the Ottoman Empire and was one of the strongest enemies of this state. The Safavid state was taking the Shiite doctrine as a special doctrine for the state, and this doctrine was very close to Sufism and it is said that magic, charlatanism and sorcery in general was it is widely spread in the countries of Iran under the rule of the Safavid state. So the idea of the kings of these countries believing in magic and charlatanism is not strange to reality or far from the rulers of these countries. It is said that one of the archaeologists at the Museum of Islamic Art in Cairo had entered some members of the museum and gifted them a historical shirt that he had bought cheaply from one of the Pashas in the time of the Egyptian kingdom, but this archaeologist noticed something strange which is that the Pasha who sold the shirt to him really wanted to get rid of it as soon as possible, and he seemed anxious as he handed him this shirt. When the shirt was examined, they found in it talismans and Shiite and Sunni supplications dating back to the Safavid state in Iran. This shirt had a special shape and appearance. The shape and size of the shirt suggests that a warrior person was wearing it. It was distinguished by its large size than usual and it is also believed that the sultan or the king was wearing it under his shield in wars, but there was something strange about this shirt that terrified and curiosity archaeologists in the Museum of Islamic Art, which is that this shirt appeared on it traces of blood. It is said that this shirt belongs to one of the sultans of the Safavid state. This sultan was in bloody and fierce battles against the Ottoman Empire, and it is mentioned that he was about to lose against the Ottoman Empire so some were able to convince him of the need to resort to priests and charlatans in order to find him a solution to this great problem. And indeed magicians, sorcerers and predictors have a great place in the era of the Iranian state since ancient times and perhaps this dates back to the time of the Persians. This matter was really strange, as this sultan gathered all the priests and charlatans and ordered them to find a solution. Indeed these charlatans made a shirt for this sultan and its shape suggested that it was a shirt surrounded by claims, and they convinced the sultan that he would not be defeated while wearing this shirt, and indeed the Safavid sultan wore it down his armor and clothes, 
and the strange thing is that he achieved great victories over his enemies, but after a period of achieving these victories began successive defeats on this sultan and it is said that he lost his mind and died after that, but some suggested that he was killed while wearing this shirt. It is said that the enemies of this sultan discovered the secret of this shirt and they changed the talismans of this shirt, which led to the transformation of the luck of this sultan and his loss in his battles and killing him in the end. Also it is said that everyone who wore this shirt was killed so it is explained that Pasha Shams wanted to get rid of this shirt very quickly so he sold it very cheaply which is five pounds to the head of the Museum of Islamic Art despite the great historical value of this shirt. Strange in the matter this shirt is still in the Museum of Islamic Art, in one of the halls dedicated to displaying these artifacts. It is noteworthy that magic and sorcery, as well as resorting to magicians and astrologers, is something forbidden in the Islamic faith, and as for the resort of kings of countries to this matter, this does not mean that there is a defect in Sharia, but rather a defect in the belief of the ruler and the king only and does not concern religion in any way.